Welcome to the Chris Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. <clears throat> TNT. Yo. So, um, the new Zelda game. Is ah. Out. I saw today that they delayed the game a year. They did. Just for polishing. It was yeah. ready a year ago. Yeah. And it said, quote, unquote, unquote. To make sure that everything in the game was 100% to our standards. Yes. Yes. Good guy Nintendo, dude. Um, I mean, rich guy Nintendo. <laughs> You're going to talk about that. Um, it's, very, it, it, it's very telling. You can tell which uh, video game producers and which uh, developers have the resources and which don't. Um, games like, or when you come to de like developers like Nintendo who developed a lot of their titles internally, that's a conglomerate. They have hundreds of thousands uh, on each country on each. Yeah, country. they can afford to put a game off exactly. a year and still make money because exactly. they know that they'll make even more money down the road. And be and and like it is a partially because they pride themselves in putting out a quality product, and a lot of it is because they have the resources. To actually put out a quality product like right, that. no, um, you're not wrong. Rockstar, they're another company worth billions of dollars because of the success of all of their video game series. The new GTA is coming out very soon. It's already ready. They have to put polish on it because they have standards. They've come out as saying that when we bring out GTA Six, it has to be like nothing you have perfect. ever. Perfect. It has to be you, perfect. They, no, they say it has to be like nothing you have ever played before. Oh, they're reinventing the the, they, the wheel. They want it to be different, but it's going to be it's it's going to be good because they always put out a quality product. They always do. Even Red Dead Redemption. After I beat it, I was like, all right, I can never really play this again. It was one of the best game experiences I've ever had. Yeah, except for they really flubbed it on the online with that. Yeah, it was bad. It was, I, I didn't wonder, really get the online. I didn't really enjoy it. But I, Nobody did. They started giving it away for free. Yeah, but the game itself, the, the story was amazing. And the game oh, yeah, was, that was... Everything about that game was super fun. And that, that, and that would be what I would say would be like their worst showing. So, well, yeah, know. even if you go back to their old games like Manhunt, remember that game from way back in the day? Oh, Jesus. Like, where you would walk around, yeah. you would kill, kill even people that with game, plastic bags. E even that was like intuitive and like kind of new for its time. Now, granted, it didn't catch on. It wasn't that great <laughs> no, of a game. I was say but, game but like, was it was good. something new and interesting, and it like, there, it wasn't very glitchy from what I remember. It just no, didn't have a lot of replay no, value, no, right? It worked. Um, I mean, yeah. I, so, I mean, they're always putting out stuff that's like, Pretty yeah. good quality games. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, just, just that you can tell. Like, uh, there's been a couple of games that have come out recently, and uh, Microsoft is being held had to being have, having their feet held to the fire most recently because of the fact that they just came out with an internal IP Redfall that's glitchy. It doesn't work, and it's because a lot of times it's because shareholders want the game out now because they want to return on investment versus... Well, well yeah, Cyberpunk. Isn't that what happened? They delayed it so much they eventually got pressure to just release it yep. and then it tanked because it, was it wasn't ready. And now that they've had another year or two to actually put some polish on the game, the game's amazing. They made no Man's Sky's another... I heard that that game that when it came game. out bombed but now has a has a player base because they've got to, they fixed all the problems it's five a, years later yeah it's a really good game but i feel like it's too it's too a little too much for me to get into i've been interested in getting into no man's sky I, maybe i could do that for the channel I it'd be i mean i've, I've no messed man's with it sky. a little bit it's just games that take that much time anymore i'm just not interested in yeah. but the concept is cool as hell there's like almost infinite planets and you fly around and like you i don't even know what the hell you do like I know it's crazy. Stuff like I, I guess you can like build your own like shipping companies and stuff. It's crazy. You can build build all kinds of stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't know, man. And you and you know, like company close to my heart, Blizzard has been go been going through it lately with the whole Overwatch thing, and but they still deliver a quality product. And the reason that it took them so long is because they were like, look, this is it's an impossible task. <laughs> They're <laughs> like the whole Overwatch game that they wanted to give us at the quality and the standards that they are known for. They were. It would like, take another five years. They were to like, put yeah, that take out. another ten years. So, yeah. so that that's partially the reason they scrapped it. There were some other things, obviously, the investors and stuff. Investors always come into play with stuff like this. Yeah, man. man. But TT Tears of the Taken King. We need to do that for the channel. Yeah, you gotta buy a Switch first. Oh god damn it. <laughs> 
Yeah, like I I thoroughly enjoyed watching you play Breath of the Wild. It was a good game, man. Yeah, it was fun. It was a like good game. I would never probably play it myself because it's too much, but like <laughs> but I'll watch it, but it for was, eight months while we did play it, it. Did it seem like too much when you were watching me play through it? Uh only that like it was like okay, my honest take on Breath of the Wild. Okay. Great. I have nothing negative to say about the game, but I feel like it could have been a quarter of the size, and people probably still would have been happy with it. You wanted a smaller, a smaller. A yeah, slice. because it was like you had those four areas with the four different. Yeah. And every piece felt like a complete game. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to complain. They gave you four times the amount for free. Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah. I'm just like, it's so much that like the average person like me who doesn't play tons of video that would have taken me years to go get through the whole game. You're not wrong. And but I guess that's value. And see, and I I don't mind a game like uh, Assassin's Creed was like that. Mm -hmm. um, Elden Ring? Elden Ring was very much like that. I still have not done everything in Elden Ring. And as many hours as I put in, even off when we weren't doing a collab for uh, Breath of the Wild. Yeah. I did so much off camera stuff that you don't even know. Well, yeah, and that's, how, like, and that's that how we have to do those, those open world games anymore. Because, like, yeah, it's like you, we play it for the channel, and then you do all whatever you want to do, exploring the map yeah, and yada, yeah, yada, yeah, yada, yeah. yada. And you're like, okay, next time we play, we can do these cool things. If not, it's just you wandering around the goddamn Mesa for <laughs> 30 minutes. I know, because games like that are meant for you to explore, and a lot of times there's just dead ends. And so. it's boring. You're just wandering yeah. around. like for, Not boring for you, but boring for people to watch. Yeah, you just like, exactly. oh, here's a guy in the middle of the beach. Like, yeah. boom, I got a, I got a <laughs> scarecrow. Surprise, everybody. We don't have editors. You're looking at the editors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Surprise! And, uh, if you want to be an editor for free and just be a part of making the channel great when we become millionaires you'll we'll remember you yeah, that's damn sure i mean we'll i don't mind giving a piece of the equity to someone if they're willing to help us along the way yeah just give give out your phone number right now so that uh, people area can call you area code 440 yeah this I don't know the rest. 997. Uh, see, that's not even your number. No, it's not. You're right. <laughs> I don't want anybody calling me. I don't like the phone, bro. How are we going to get anybody to edit for us for free if you don't take calls? I mean, they can put a comment on the channel. They can put a comment on the channel. Saying, hey, I'm interested. Here's my phone number. That's very... And then maybe I'll hit them up. You're going to make somebody put their phone number in the <laughs> YouTube comments. No, they could be like, here's my you Instagram handle. I'll look them up. are the worst boss. I have ever met in my life. <laughs> Docs you right on your YouTube comments. All the bots are like, here we go. And then you start getting text messages. Hey, babe, <laughs> is this our weekend to hang out? Hey, Fred, I thought your appointment was. All those text messages you get now that just are random, hoping that you reply. <laughs> oh, by the way, friend. Oh, sorry, I have the wrong number. Would you like a million dollars? Give me your credit card number and your social. Right? Just yeah, dude. Give me your credit card number. I swear I'm a Siberian prince or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just need to borrow. I, I thought you were Fred, and we were talking about the doctor's appointment. But by the way, I'm also a prince. If you want, <laughs> if you want a million dollars, and then they're all like, "Really? That sounds great." Here's my social. That's how they get you. Here's man. my mom's social and her, and her maiden name. That's how they get you. Yeah, yeah, they get you every time with the Siberian prince. Always. My life has been a cavalcade of a revolving door of Siberian princes just trying to give me money. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> every day. Jonas has been a high-priced prostitute for, for <laughs> how long? <laughs> Gigolo, thank you. Gigolo, I'm sorry. That's yeah, uh, yeah. No, I don't know, man. I just, I wish, I wish all games would put out quality products. Like, <laughs> I know, right? And that the fact that it's laughable know. now is like it, it is. It, it sucks because even like Madden, dude, like Madden, just they, oh, you can tell they just don't God. care. <sighs> And like you have diehard fan bases, and, but and that's just the don't thing. care. But they keep you. People keep buying it. People. Keep I mean, buying it's it. been what I've said the whole time. Like the reason that people can buy clothes for their avatar on Xbox Live is because people will buy clothes for their avatar on Xbox Live. Yeah. If people were just like, "I'm not buying this ish. Give it to me for free," and no one spent money on it, they would stop. GTA selling <laughs> five million in-game bucks for fifty dollars or whatever they do. Yeah. If no one bought it, they would stop. I know, and I'm honestly so whoa. You know, I'm excited about the new GTA. I'm oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure that you are excited. I'm about indifferent. The I mean, like, I, you're not I've gonna never play been, the next GTA. I I've always been the guy who plays GTA to like run around and shoot stuff and do whatever. I haven't. Spoiler alert. Raw take. I don't know. 
I've only ever played through one GTA all the way, and it was three, and I got to the last mission and stopped. Otherwise, I just play it and run around and do stuff. Like GTA Five, I never played the story at all. I literally, oh my god, dude! I just had like a mini heart attack, aneurysm, uh, stroke. Uh, d- d- my f- leg fell off. You've only played through one GTA. All the yeah, story yeah. Wow. I like wow. Vice City. I've played a little bit. San Andreas. I never played the story one bit. Won it. Beat it. Four. I never played the story one bit. Beat it. Five. I never played the story one beat bit. But I played times. online a lot. Online was fun, except for the nine. Hours per game of wait time that you had to do to get into little mini games. Hopefully, but I've run around so. worlds and just caused destruction and bought guns and had fun and bought the attack helicopters and stuff. That was a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's all I've really done with it. Yeah, I don't. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh wow. Okay. So I will uh, watch you play it for the channel. Uh yeah. Are well, they, are that that is a hundred percent. Are they that, coming right? out with a new GTA Online? Uh, of course, yeah. Probably so, all the systems are being overhauled. I don't know if there will be in- any integration because a lot of people have put a lot of money, time, and effort into what they've collected. So I don't know if yeah. Welcome be... to MMOs. Yeah, right. I don't know like, oh, gonna... sorry about that. GTA Five out. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be transferring any of that stuff over, but hopefully they do because I'm just a gamer at heart and I want the gamers to win. Yeah, no, I feel you. I do too, for but, sure. Uh, but anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas the Crazy Town dot com and. <laughs> I forgot to say the website, sorry. TNT! Uh, We out.